just casually hanging out with world champion Owen over here. <laughs> Day and I had a nice, very successful season of not, you know, getting injured, which is <laughs> my MO. And I woke up this morning feeling so motivated to just go for it with this whole Irish dance thing. So now I am dressed and ready to go practice. I'm going to really start working on my basics again because I have not learned my steps yet for this year. That's coming up next, but I will soon be heading back to class and it makes my heart so happy to just reconnect with something that I've done for so long. And I just threw my hair back and I'm not putting makeup on, so hence the beauty filter because no. And I already did my full workout this morning, so I'm ready to start my two-a-days where I do my regular workout in the morning and then in the afternoon I do my whole dancey thing. And this morning I was just like, I'm gonna go for it. Like, might as well. Nothing's holding me back except myself, which is really true about a lot of things in life. <laughs> so, this begins my journey back to competition and I'm hoping that my first competition back is this summer. I'm not going to be ready for nationals like <laughs> not going to be ready but Denver Raptors, you're going to see me there if I don't hurt myself. So I guess I'm going to get off the couch and actually go do my whole dance practice thing. Alrighty. So guess who's going back to dance today? It's so hard for me to believe that I'm actually going to be going back to the studio on a regular basis, really training for a competition. I haven't done this since 2013. My last competition was Nationals of 2013. Yes, six years ago. It was honestly the best I've ever felt myself dance. And then I got severely injured at our dance workshop two weeks after that, which was so seriously disappointing. And then because it was junior, senior year of college, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna take a little break from dance, really concentrate on getting straight A's in college, which I accomplished, so. But after that, adulting happened. I had to get a job, I started my own businesses, yes, multiple businesses, and you can go ahead and check out my princess party business. I will have that always linked down below so you can see what I'm up to on a weekly basis, essentially. I do have multiple jobs that are all going on pretty much at one time. It's not like I go to an office from nine to five. It's not one of those things. I do have many dreams and goals that I am working on all concurrently, so I definitely have a lot going on, but I just felt ready to get back into the studio and to pursue this dream. And because Aroctus is in Denver this year, I figured, might as well give it a shot and see how it all goes. And so today is my first day back. I have been working out, putting my dance shoes on, trying to really like, you know, up my workout routine because I do, you know, just like your general basic workout, but with dance. If you're a dancer, you know, you know how much more it takes than just your regular like to go for a jog. No, it takes a lot more than that. And it's going to be really weird because I feel like I'm going to be one of the oldest dancers in the room at 27, 28 in a couple weeks. So it's just one of those things where it feels slightly intimidating just because I haven't been there and I haven't danced in a really long time, like competitively. I have done St. Patrick's Day every single year, so it's helped keep me in it and really like give my muscle memory a shot of actually remembering what to do with my feet, maybe. <clears throat> So we shall see how this all goes, but I'm super excited to see my teachers again, to just be back in the studio, challenging myself. I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll keep you updated. So I'm just about to go film an Irish dance makeup tutorial, but I did want to fill you in on how my first dance class went back after six years because I'm waiting on my iPad to charge because I forgot to plug it in overnight and it was at like 32% battery and I need it to film the makeup tutorial so it's gonna be waiting a little while 
oops, but my class went really, really well. It was really bizarre. I felt like I time traveled back in time to the time and place where I was like young and strong and dancing all of the time. So here's hoping I can like just get right back into it and it was so nice to do a couple drills i got two steps of my reel like completely down and then i started to learn the hornpipe but i'm like wait hold up i have a few more questions about this so i recorded a couple dancers who let me just film their steps so i could teach myself here at home because i am so busy i'm only going to the studio one time a week and that's not really enough to really get your steps down so i'm steadily getting back into it. I actually cannot wait to get back to the studio so I can dance some more. Obvi. It was so nice to see everybody again, but it was so bizarre to walk in and be the oldest person by, I think, 12 years, which is mind blowing to me. But I <laughs> did confirm that senior ladies 22 and over are doing real and hornpipe because I am always scared. What was that? I'm just terrified that we don't always switch over. It's not like, you know, a given every year. And so I'm scared that I'm going to learn the wrong dances and I really don't want to learn everything. And then I have to go back and learn the whole other side of the dances. I just don't want to. And yes, I am sore today, but I am trying to keep up with my Advil, and I had a nice Epsom salt bath last night, which was quite nice. And here's hoping I'm not too sore for the rest of the week. I really need to like, just keep massaging my muscles and do a little bit like of a, an easier workout the first couple of days so that I'm still keeping my muscles moving, but not really exhausting them either, so. I'm just trying to steadily, slowly work my way back in because that way I prevent injury and I always look forward to dancing, which is nice. So it did go really, really well. I cannot wait to get back into the studio. I love my steps so far. So that's how it's going. Just a little update for you. Now I'm gonna go check in to see if my iPad is charged. Probably not. Oh well. Yeah. Hey! Oh, 
Hi. <laughs> yeah, so just casually hanging out with world champion Owen over here. <laughs> So as you all know, I went to Pikes Peak Fesh and I loved getting to just catch up with everybody. It was like this huge Irish dance reunion of seeing like all of my friends that I don't often get to see at class. I got to see them all glammed up and ready to dance and I got to watch my own competition so I kind of had a feel for how things went because I've been out of competition mode for so long that it was really nice to see just how it all goes again. Just to remind myself, I mean, it's not all that different. Hard shoe, soft shoe set, but you know. And one of my all time favorite things to do is to go through the used dress racks with my mom. It's something that we did at every single local competition just as something fun, just to go through it and get inspired for maybe a new dress. And sometimes I have found perfect dresses. Like my first solo dress was white and it had pink unicorns on it and it was literally perfection for me at the time. So I have found dresses on these racks and it just makes my heart so happy to just feel them and see them. Something that's different from your own because you get so used to seeing your own that when you see other designs or colors that you wouldn't have originally thought of, it's just super fun to go and check out. And then I also looked at all of the other vendors and I went to this fesh in particular knowing that I really wanted to check out a new brand of hard shoes because I do currently have Rutherford and I feel like maybe the tips are just a little bit too thick or maybe the leather is just a little bit too thick. There's something about them that feels different than how I felt about them in high school. So I am still working on breaking them in. I'm definitely going to be holding on to them, but I'm very curious about this brand called Fesh Fair and they're Flexi Pros. And I've seen so many posts about them on Instagram and I see so many like world champions and all Ireland champions wear these that I'm like, okay, maybe there's like a secret in these that makes them really amazing. So <laughs> I came home with a pair because I have no self-control and I'm really excited about them. In case you were wondering, I did get the size of two and a half regulars, not wides. Typically with Rutherfords, I would get wides, but I have heard that these hyper stretch out. So I really wanna make sure that they don't get too wide because the wide width fit my foot perfectly, but I know that it's gonna stretch out. So I did get just the regular width. And what I love about these is that they have that thinner toe tip right here because I've recently noticed that the joints of my big toes hurt like crazy especially when I've done a ton of dancing and I don't know if that's just because I'm like old now but it's just one of those things that's new for me so I probably could just get the Rutherford tip really sanded down and perfected for me but I noticed that these fit me perfectly and they didn't hurt and they are a little bit shorter also so I can get onto just the tips instead of having part of my foot hitting the leather hitting the ground. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense in my head, <laughs> so probably not. But these are brand new. I haven't danced in them at all, so I will definitely be giving you an update on how these go. These do have the white straps also, so I don't have to put any tape on my shoes. I'm kind of a traditionalist in that sense. I like a little bit of white tape just to kind of like clean up the lines, but I don't do too much either. Maybe that's just because I've been a part of this sport for 21 years now that I feel just a little bit differently about all of the glitz and glamour and all of the extra things that people do. I don't know, I still love all of the new things and the big wigs and the fun makeup and the very blingy dresses. So it's just one of those things. I'm definitely just a traditionalist in that sense, but I absolutely love the way that these fit. So I cannot wait to dance in them because I have heard rumors that people have purchased these shoes and then danced on them that day, competed in them. So I am very excited about that and I just love the smell of new hard shoes. Mmm, leather is just one of my all-time favorite scents. Like, always, when there's a candle, I love the leather, the tobacco, the bourbon. I love those, like, very warm, masculine scents. It's just one of those things. I'll definitely be giving you an update on these babies, but I am proud to say that I know my real 
my horn pipe and the step part of my set. So everything is coming along quite nicely, but then in July we do have our workshop where we get all new choreography, so I have to learn everything all over again. <laughs> oh well. This was good practice. And it looks like my first competition is going to be the first weekend of October. So here's hoping I am completely in dance shape and ready to go for that because then there's another one in November right before Oroctus. So here's hoping that two locals before Oroctus is enough practice because that's all I'm gonna get. <laughs> And if you are going to the Western Region Oroctus, I would love for you to leave a comment down below so that we can make sure to meet up. I'm still thinking I'm gonna do something just kinda casual. Not sure, still working on it. And another new thing I have is the Irish Dance Practice Pad. If you wanna check out my whole video, it's a full review video. I show you me dancing on it, let you know all of the details about it because I have been practicing on it for a couple of weeks now. So I'll have that linked down below so you can go ahead and check it out. I am so in love with it. So it's kind of like uh, giving away my review, but I'm in love with it. I think it is absolute perfection. So I will also link the website down below so that you can check it out for yourself. But 